Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for recommended practice number SNTTC1A. Personnel Qualification and Certification in Non-Destructive Testing. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 4, Levels of Qualification. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 4 accompanied by the sub-clauses. Clause 4. Levels of Qualification There are three basic levels of qualification. The employer may subdivide these levels for situations where additional levels are deemed necessary for specific skills and responsibilities. While in the process of being initially trained, qualified, and certified, an individual should be considered a trainee. A trainee should work with a certified individual. The trainee should not independently conduct, interpret, evaluate, or report the results of any NDT test. The recommended technical knowledge and skill sets for the three basic levels of qualification are as follows. NDT Level 1 individual should have sufficient technical knowledge and skills to be qualified to properly perform specific standardizations, specific NDT, and specific evaluations for acceptance or rejection determinations according to written instructions and to record results. The NDT Level 1 should receive the necessary instruction and supervision from a certified NDT Level 2 or 3 individual. NDT Level 2 individual should have sufficient technical knowledge and skills to be qualified to set up and standardize equipment and to interpret and evaluate results with respect to applicable codes, standards, and specifications. The NDT Level 2 should be thoroughly familiar with the scope and limitations of the methods for which qualified, and should exercise assigned responsibility for on-the-job training and guidance of trainees and NDT Level 1 personnel. The NDT Level 2 should be able to organize and report the results of NDT tests. NDT Level 3 individuals should have sufficient technical knowledge and skills to be capable of developing, qualifying, and approving procedures, establishing, and approving techniques interpreting codes, standards, specifications, and procedures, and designating the particular NDT methods, techniques, and procedures to be used. NDT Level 3 should be responsible for the NDT operations for which qualified and assigned and should be capable of interpreting and evaluating results in terms of existing codes, standards, and specifications. The NDT Level 3 should have sufficient practical background in applicable materials, fabrication, and product technology to establish techniques and to assist in establishing acceptance criteria when none are otherwise available. The NDT Level 3 should have general familiarity with other appropriate NDT methods, as demonstrated by an ASNT Level 3 basic examination or other means.
the NDT Level 3, and the methods in which certified should have sufficient technical knowledge and skills to be capable of training and examining NDT Level 1, 2, and 3 personnel for certification in those methods. Review questions Question number 1. According to SNTTC 1A and NDT Level 3 individual should Answer is C. Question number 2. In accordance with SNTTC 1A, what minimum level of personnel may be qualified to properly perform specific evaluations for acceptance or rejection determination according to written instruction? Answer is B. Question number 3. In accordance with ASNTSNTTC 1A, a trainee. Answer is B. Question number 4. Following the recommendations of SNTTC 1A, a person who performs non-destructive tests without written instruction or supervision should have what level of certification, as a minimum? Answer is C. Question number 5. SNTTC 1A recommend that an individual in the process of being qualified to ultrasonic NDT level 1 shall? Answer is B. Question number 6. In accordance with the recommendation of SNTTC 1A, it is desirable that the NDT Level 3 have general familiarity with. Answer is A. Question number 7. In accordance with SNTTC 1A, what is the minimum qualification level for personnel assigned responsibility for interpreting and evaluating NDT results to a specification? Answer is C. Question number 8. In accordance with SNTTC 1A, a trainee should. Answer is C. Question number 9. The basic levels of qualification recommended by SNTTC 1A are Answer is C. Question number 10. 
as recommended in SNTTC 1A. Level 2. Answer is D. Question number 11. According to the recommendations of SNTTC 1A, who can conduct the training for level 1 and level 2? Answer is C. Question number 12. The NDT level 3 should have general familiarity with other appropriate NDT methods, as demonstrated by. Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. <laughs>